Hey, this is part two of last week's episode. Uh, yeah, oh boy, that was a lot that happened, wasn't it? Yeah, remember, uh, no episodes after this for at least a month. Uh, holidays and then also some recordings so that way we can get it done. Don't worry though, don't worry. I will find some other things to entertain you with in that time. Well, time to start checking bodies. I checked yeah. the pants first. Say, oh good, I don't have to go to the doctor now. It's going down. Then I go check bodies. Big silver guy. Clifton said, said booty is booty. I'll help you check the, the big guy's body. Why did you it have a roll Scottish? Uh, slip of hand or investigation, whichever one you want. I'm just so. Why did you have to do it in a southern accent? <laughs> I, I didn't know that came out my bad. Yeah. Um, Six. let's see. So, Rebel. Is it slide of hand or investigation? Which one's better? Let's see. Investigation. Oh, slide of hand. I yeah. wanted to do that. You know that guy that was like standing right. I don't know if you can see where I click, but like right here. Yeah. Where I did like 38 damage to him. Yeah. I want to check him. And the two other guys I killed. Uh, the big guy, I can tell you right now. That big guy has a trident on him a very similar trident to the one that renard seemed to be looking around for quite some time a uh, trident a trident mm. uh, not that image where is it buzz 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 so pointy. Uh, the big guy, easy enough to note, uh, he has on himself a nice big serrated sword. Um, very much looks like the one in the image. And as you look on through his body, you find yourself a nice gold locket with a painted portrait. It's of a dwarven woman. However, someone Gross. somewhere definitely finds this attractive. You, however, see this short, stout, dwarven woman with unkempt hair, a monobrow and a very thin moustache. This could be mistaken for a man, were it not for the obvious brazier that it was wearing. One day we'll find a fine dwarven woman. One day. Uh, next up, uh, Rebel. Oh, dear goodness gracious me. Oh, you find a, well, you find this nice little stone. Bloodstone. Reddish, pinkish. Or rather, a opaque dark grey with flecks of red. In the right light, it could certainly be nice. Uh, God knows what you'd use it for. Do, 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 do. A good boy. Uh, Speedy boy. Um, yes, the speedy find, boy. Find yourself a nice copper chalice with a silver figurine. These guys just kind of see what does the figurine look like? The figurine is of a rather weird horned creature. It's slender with a pointed tail. Interesting. I have described I want to. <laughs> Could I could I could I roll both Arcana and Religion on this? Uh roll religion on it, sure. Okay. I'll help. Thank you. With um guidance. I'm curious what's okay, religion being rolled on? Dunno. Huh? Ooh, roll straight! I can't wait to see that on um, Dungeons of the Mad Mage with my natural trend. <laughs> then a D, oh, that's not a D4, that's a D6. This is a D4. D4. Uh, what are you also rolling that on, just out of curiosity? I need to ask. The chalice. Ah. Also, uh, I'm going to let you guys see this just now. Uh, encounter statistics for basically every fight. Oh, nice. It even, even shows part of the map. Like, you can actually see the encounter statistic for that fight we just had. Nice. Average damage per round, lowest damage per round, highest damage per round, damage of the encounter. Yeah. Uh, the chalice, as you look at it, um, it's very ornate. The figurine 
of a, of a, of a woman. Um, well, that's a devil. Sure as hell. That there's that the devil. All the it's the devil. Uh, no, I think that's just for this session because I've only inadvertently accidentally turned it back on. Yeah, there's um the twenty sixth of June and then the twenty sixth of June, which is just this fight again. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I deleted the other one so that way you wouldn't have an idea of what I was testing. Also, so the, said... the combatants round two, round three, round four. That's great. I Most even know damage I... overall, Exodus. Let's go. Like what did what we did. Yeah, uh, for it, there you, you. It's a devil, sure as hell. You've heard the stories, you've read the books, you know. And you said I can't it's... roll Arcana on it? Uh, I gave you religion, and they're both basically the same here for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Arcana, in fact, you're actually, your religion, yeah, plus one on both. So, for you, the religious aspect of this is fucking devils. Wait, who, who found it, me or him? Me. No. If it's, I thought it was me. It came off of the speedy guy, right? Exodus is a fucking rogue. With hey, rogue. Haste. You tell me you're the fastest. What's going on? I thought you. I thought we were. Hold on. I it thought you were rolling for something. what? It, Clifton. Okay. You got a gold locket with a dwarf. <laughs> Revenue. I got a, I rolled a 20 and got a gold locket with a... I thought you were going from, like, the first to last, not... not like, I thought you oh, were no. back to front, not front to back. No, by price. These are all by price, my friend. It may not look like much, That's but disgusting. it's... disgusting. What did I find? It's a roll table. It rolls certain tables. You, Exodus, found a chalice with a horned red figure. Okay, you think oh, I roll a double check on it? It's a devil. I mean, these are all within. All the bodies are within range. You can see what everybody manages to find with these. So I found a bloodstone and a trident. You want the trident? I'll put can that I, trident on your sheet there. Can I loot the other bodies to find something a bit more helpful? And... Uh, I mean, I mean, it might be helpful in your journeys to think about this uh, strange dwarven woman. It will you not. Know? Think of her. Think of her. Think of her at all. I'd rather forget she exists. She's a very pretty woman. Why? Why do you? Then you take the locket. Thank you for okay. the compliment. Okay, I will. <laughs> I'll give you the picture. I'll take the gold. Have fun. <laughs> no, no, it comes as a set. No, I'm taking the picture. Once well, you think she's pretty, you can have the picture. I'll take the gold. <laughs> Put my own picture in here. Put my own picture in here. I could throw a little bit in there, but I'm just not gonna. Hmm. I could give that dwarf a name, but I know only one person's gonna appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. His name is Brun uh, My name is Brunhild. <laughs> Brunhild? That's my name! It's Rue! That's your name? No, um, I have a dwarf <laughs> a woman a character named Grunhild. Oh. I was about to be, I was about to be very, very, very fake nice to you for a moment. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, her mustache flows in the wind like the, uh... <laughs> All seven hairs. Seven long hairs. Like I, colors in the wind. I guess at some point after the combat, I guess this would be like, "Hey, Melano, you're, you're a female." <laughs> glad, glad you've noticed. That's you know a wrong about... Weasley quote if I ever heard one. <laughs> I mean, that was about... in the book. You, you know about flowers. <laughs> yeah. I've been seeing like visions of flowers lately. <laughs> I want to see what that's about. I don't know. Am I gay? <laughs> Is that what the gods are telling me? <laughs> um, have has Rebel figured out what? <laughs> Whoa! 
what? What permit my fucking misery? Has Rebel figured out what you know? What he's been seeing means as well. Um, both of you give me religion Enough. checks. Yeah, I have a plus I eight in that. I asked Melano. The hell? Yeah. Do you think about it? Sure. Ask. I mean, no, because because Rebel's been seeing. Because Rebel's been seeing a spider. You've seen. You have visions. Rebels have visions. So. Yeah, do I do I get advantage because I'm asking Melano the meaning of something? Melano flowers? give you guidance. Oh. Yay. Um Bevel, there are numerous numerous things in the world that go over your head. The gods, however, don't seem maybe one of them. The spider doesn't seem like any of them? No, the the figure of a spider showing in orange. That's very funny. <laughs> Fuck yeah. The picture of a spider showing in orange is very familiar to you. It's the god whose name that I am stalling now to get to like page five of the book. I've opened it up on the right page. Yes. Brilliant. Now I'm just stalling so I can read. Understand that the symbol of Majer is something that you very much are aware of. Okay, because as I'm saying, I see it everywhere. I see it in fires. I see it in the sky. I see it in my breakfast when I wake up. Exodus. I mean... You know... My gay? If you if you would have tried it, <laughs> uh, nah, yep. Yeah. Weird that you're smelling flowers in places where there's no flowers. Um, probably maybe want to get that checked out. I'm pretty sure smelling stuff is. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the first sign of either a stroke, or, or worse, Being schizophrenia. Crazy. Um, yep. Um. If, if, it, if it was religion, you should have came to Revel. I mean, you already got two voices in your head. What's a third that smells the flowers? This is true. He's just curious, you know? He doesn't know about Rebel. flowers. He doesn't know the language of flowers, what chrysanthemums mean. Rebel, in fact, I don't even Rebel think he knows. knows that they're chrysanthemums. Rebel knows flowers. more about... Chrysanthemums? <laughs> Chrysanthemums? Uh, chrysanthemums. Uh, have anybody else perceived it? As soon as he started talking after all of that, its voice got a little bit more like this. <laughs> um, but uh, if it was like religion, <laughs> devil, demons, or anything like that, you should have came to Rebel because he has the higher religion than our freaking cleric here. What's your religion? Plus eight. <laughs> Well, Melano is female and knows flowers. So that, Rebel female, that Rebel female Do right I smell flowers? That's what he's talking about. I would like Never. to say Rebel's female as well right now. There's no difference. The only time, the only time, sorry, my bad. Boom, boom. The only time you have ever smelt the flowers in such a way was. Well, it was essentially, it must have been about two weeks ago now. Back in the lower castle of Castle Calaman, where you encountered Lord Soth, and he, well, uh, he made like a junkie that had just robbed the pharmacy and got the fuck out of there, and you fought a very crazed up revel, and a even crazier undead skeleton who very much didn't want to be doing what he was doing. And when his sword pierced Bryn for the final time, and Bryn lay on the ground for a good few seconds, when you watched Bryn no longer breathe, the room filled with the smell of chrysanthemums. Ah. Before Exodus summoned a horse. Mm. So... 
basically someone died and that's why we're smelling chrysanthemums. Well, you've only smelled it once. Ah. But Exodus has been smelling it a lot. Is it because he keeps almost dying? Who knows? Hard to say. Seems to get himself into just as much trouble as he can get out of. But... He smelt him a few times, even... Even just in passing. Hmm. Never. As it were. Your night winds down. As it does, the camp goes on a higher alert. The night. Revel, I'm going to ask for a perception check just for the. just to round out the watches. Okay. Do we get a long rest after this? Was there a 10 minute interruption? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it was actually uh, less than a minute. Was it? Okay, never mind. Ten minutes, them all in a minute. Ten minutes would be 60 rounds of combat, mate. Really? Okay. Um, let me see. We would, we would <clears> all <throat> have fallen asleep by that point. Perception. Is the camp starts to fortify Taking clear of body, taking care of bodies and looking around you, yourself. You're on alert, but you're sleepy. It's been a hell of an ordeal. But you watch, and nothing comes of this night. No more, no less. And you awake after you get your own sleep. And everything as it was, barring the blood. Can I have a D10, please? Yes. <laughs> Bless you. Ration consumed. The blood is gone. The camp. has been cleared and the blood has dried and soaked into the sand I've been blown away with this cool cold morning he's all awake to see once more lingering in the air your breath in the middle of a desert. He's all oh, would like to take a long rest. Uh, I'll just up Darrett back to 52 hit points. There you go. Because he has no hit die to expend. I'll probably need to make him some form of player character sheet at some point. And then the day <laughs> that I do that is the day we get Renard back. Naturally. It happens all the time. Oh, fuck me, that's bright. And, as it were, yous, are you keeping the same pace? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think we shouldn't. I think we should move at a slow... What are the benefits of moving at a slow pace? I think we're able to stealth. We're able to stealth, yes. Why would we want to do that? Uh... Because it seems that we are being followed by Dragonkin, and we don't know if that is all them that followed us, so it might be beneficial to not lead an army back to the Sylvanesti the Elves. Do uh, we tell them to stop following us? Did we, we get the long we... rest? Yep. Yeah, that we did. when I smash up just now, there, man. Wait, before or after yeah. the fight? After the fight. Oh, okay. good. Good. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I can. 
I'm fine. <laughs> if we move, if we move at a slow pace, can we still get back to the Silver Nesty Elves without taking camp for the day? A slow pace gives you nine miles a day. Uh, you get to double that to eighteen miles, which works out to be three. So no. So. Uh, I say just move at a normal pace. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> I, th I thought we were just. I thought we just made it there, in time, but we're one short. Now imagine yeah. if I didn't cast the spell I cast it. We would still be chilling. I think we should. With a running make, body. Be wary of the trick yeah. behind us, though. If there is anything we could do for that, a perception check or something. Things usually mummify in this kind of uh, place. What, hot and humid? Hot, humid, sandy. It's still decay, regardless. Like, I know, I know, I know bringing him back is just going to bring him back in general. But, I don't know. Letting him rot feels wrong. Good job. Okay. So, let's go see the silver next state silver. And whenever, whenever we come in here, no one says silver nasty. We say silver nasty, okay? Silver nasty, got it. I've never actually said. I'm the one who invented silver the nasty. phrase, right? Nasty I'm the one who invented the phrase silver nasty, but I've never said it in character. Silver nasty. Long John Silver nasty elves. Aye. Rebel oh. says nasty silver. Just head on through it towards the. Elves in their area. Yous are once more brought to your sort of gorge with all the little parts on top, the bridges and ducats, the elves watching through. They don't seem as shifty as they did last. Then just use follow the path through up winding past all of the issues. You eventually make it back to the top. As you do. You don't see What's his fucking name again? Dalaman? Yeah. You do not Dalaman. see Dalaman there. However, you see all other Sylvanesti elves looking around. Dalaman was the leader, right? Or was he the guy who led us to leader? Dalamar. Dalamar, yeah. Uh. This guy know. here. That we talked to you last time. Uh. Maritime? Nope, uh, it's just very dark because of how it all went. Yeah, I need to sort that. What did we talk about with Delamar before? Were we supposed to do something from him? No. Uh, the pooch on that one. We were supposed to talk to the leader and convince him to go home. And we didn't. But, yeah, we didn't do that. He's gone now, so we can just talk to this guy over here. So go up to the elf who's packing all of his things, and he looks at you. Hello, are you, uh, are you guys heading out? That's where headed north. Headed north? Yes. Um. Why? Do you know where your leader is? He's, uh, in the tents. You know, okay. points to the spiral. Can't miss him. By the fire. Alright. Thank you. Enjoy. Uh, Rebel's gonna step herself over here. Step in between these. And, uh... You can Move my vision up. By the fire. Why didn't we use the entrance? Why do we have to sneak by the tents? Exodus says, 
right behind Revel. It's, that was a long way around. I don't see any problem with stepping in between the tents. Does you see the elf known as Jelsul? It's like I'm interrupting something. They're like it's sitting in a circle. Yeah, they're they're all standing there. You can see their hands are moving by. No, I'm, I'm not going to make that joke. So they're all kind of sitting. Some packing, some cooking, others scraping in their books. Gonna uh, take a seat over uh, here, uh, stating that I would like to talk to him. It does here. This strange elven language spoken once more. Some of it you kind of get some grips of. Is, you know, you speak Sylvan, and some words are familiar, but even trying to break a sentence from it isn't quite. Exodus, you, know, uh, you oh, however, you ever hear the man, the elven man, say, Who invited him? They're back already. Why? What more could they possibly fucking want? It's one I'll, uh, Elka taps. I'll speak up in Elven. He'll say... Russian one of our friends... Renard. The one with the full plate. Or, did he wear a full plate? Did he wear... No. Did he wear a breastplate? Chainmail? Chainmail. chainmail. The one in chainmail, he is... Passed away. <laughs> Is the camp but... sort of erupts. Rushed to their fucking deaths. Did I not warn you you were eager to run to your death? And now you come back to me. The prophecy fulfilled. We went to the Tower of Silence. Black Wraith? Why did you go there? Why did you go to Black Wraith? To explore it. To see what was there, potentially our enemy being there. We could learn more information, but we found something more. Undead wraiths and a, a spirit of a woman named <laughs> entered spirit's name here. I forgot it. Uh, uh Revel. Uh, Gentida? 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 Yep. Dog, come here. Go. Looking so for her. Not dog, Gentida. And <laughs> her name is Gentida. <laughs> not know if perhaps she was one of your own. She said she was Sylvan Nasty. So because we're all Sylvan Nasty, we all know each other. Uh, no. Nice but... to know the world of man hasn't changed in 300 years. I don't know. No, but I, I, so... I just thought that a Sylvan Nasty elf might knew be another Sylvan Nasty elf. Elves. Mm -hmm. Might be, no. you know, related to the group of Sylvan Nasty elves that came from their homeland. Over, am I wrong? Do you not know them? Eyes waiting, and he just keeps nodding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I tell Exodus, so she can. I'm sorry, so I tell Exodus, so he can say to him. She said she was on a mission with um another group. You don't speak Elvish. I don't know what you're saying. I'm telling. Uh, because uh, isn't Exodus telling him about? Didn't wouldn't Exodus have to ask him about um her name? Because he didn't know it. This was, this was talked about in the beginning of the session. He asked. Yep. Nope. You good? Like she was on a mission. Speaking Elvin. I put an we'll, exhausted tag. I say in Elvin. I add. Uh, we also have a man that Im immaculately conceived. If you're interested. What? Oh, I am still pregnant. <laughs> yes, you're still pregnant. Am uh, I sewing? Uh, well. I'll run the belly a little you bit. You can also get M-Preg. 
Oh, it's, <laughs> it's beautiful just seeing it up here written in pen. <laughs> Clifton is pregnant. <laughs> it's almost finished his first trimester. Oh yay! No, no more morning week, morning sickness. Oh, we're gonna run the fuck out of this. You know that, right, RJ? You're gonna be making con saving throws soon. Oh god! Don't you mean contractions? <laughs> no, how, no. how many cons is and how high is the DC? I don't know what like what goes on. Hold on. <laughs> your chest aches when you feel itching in your throat. Uh, With the con save of pregnancy. You so need to heal yourself in the morning. RJ, you need to heal yourself. Nigga, I asked you last session if that would work, and you said no. You, you, you specifically not. said no to me. I, it was <laughs> any spell that cures a disease. You're good. You you <laughs> did heal yourself last session, and it didn't work. And remember? one of us miscarried the break. After the, after the manacore fight, you healed yourself, and it did nothing. Oh yeah. Probably because that spell doesn't cure a disease; it just restores hit points. You need a spell that cures a disease. Okay. Right, pass the, the Scottish Catholic restoration. Wait, not fucking now, Do you have it prepared? You said what? Do you have it prepared? I should. I had it prepared when I last looked in my sheet. He has the equivalent of a chest burster in him. In <laughs> uh, you have it as an always prepared. So like you, you can just cast it. And can you? Uh, I'm away from the computer. Can you cast it, please? As the elves speak, you all just hear from out the back. Just Never mind. I'm back at my computer. I, it just not turned off. Never mind. Let's hear it. Hear it. You're gonna hear this rabble of elves going. Oh. Coughing, oh. uh, puttering. Can I pick it up, Jordan? You want to feed us? <laughs> no, I got that. Th uh, yeah, points to the cliff end. Cliff end, got you. I'm gonna, it's gonna go that on. Could be his on. name. So close to Clifton. <laughs> his name would have been. Oh, oh, you're talking about my name. I thought you said we'll throw it off the cliff then. No, that's what they said, and I said cliff then. That could be his name. His name would have been Reginald, and I toss him. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> so sorry, Reginald. This makes it even better, that conversation I had with Revel. <laughs> Reginald. Uh, so, you had 30 days to get that out of you. Else you, oh, have, else you would have died. It's a wonderful thing, I'm a cleric. Clifton <laughs> aborts pregnancy. <laughs> That's going in the notes, isn't it? After seven out of thirty days, meaning past state regulation. And since this was an illegal abortion, we are going to have to place you under arrest. Over my Ooh. dead body! Well, I cast over the, the face. <laughs> I cast the <laughs> We are going to hell. I am going to hell. Preheated. <laughs> <laughs> he meditated going to hell. <laughs> but... Well, anyway, you were saying before we all hear the throwing up is... No one else bar all the other elves just watches this man throws up this bloody fetus egg, walks to the side of the cliff and just for walking up to the group. Never know. Yeah, I'm just speechless. Okay. I'm sorry. Never Here, I saved a little bit of it if you... I saved a little bit of it if it's sentimental for you. You can have it. I don't really want anything to do with this. Why did you... 
<laughs> he just lets out the deepest sigh looking at his comrades. Well, as long as you're better. So, are you okay? Why have you come now? Tell us. What more can we do for you? Well, uh, we heard why you were here, your quest for knowledge. And we were wondering if you had any knowledge that might pertain in bringing someone back from the dead. Why would I have that knowledge? What? We don't know. You were an option, and we're desperate to bring our friend back. No one here knows the healing magic, but there may be something in some of the boxes that we found of all of our ancients. If you can decipher some of it, because we can't. And if what you're looking for is there, then you may have it provided you do us a favor. What, what favor? Um, I, I don't speak elf. Exactly, G. Stop. Me <laughs> neither. <laughs> uh, that it technically knows one other language, uh, common and one other language. Um, known Elvish would probably be something that I would say he would know, given that Vogler was kind of in that channeling area. Okay. Because geopolitics, people. <laughs> you would Let's see, what do I Switch the conversation to English. Oh, I know Elvish! That's if they know common. You would look to the <laughs> others and say, they have uh, agreed to let us look through what they have found to decipher, uh, see if we can decipher the manuscripts. I ask if Leaving that correctly. Any... And, oh, sorry. Uh, in exchange for a favor. Uh, Rebel asks, have he, uh, has he stated what kind of favor it is, or is it just like, uh, I'll call upon you when I need you? No idea. I was waiting for the group before getting into discussion of... I should have been listening. Well, I'll go ahead and ask. Keep us updated. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask what the favor is, and I'm also gonna ask if any of them have, um, have, uh, any, uh essentially like um any way to help me look through these to see if i can find like i don't know if, i don't know if like the, the normal eye can just see my scroll versus whatever they have and see if there's another one or anything like that uh to my understanding of how it is and how it reads in the uh i think it's either the dungeon master's guide or the player's handbook um if the spell is not on your spell if the spell is not on your spell list it's un it's, it can't be read by you as if it's in a different language therefore i would ascertain myself my ruling that having an example would allow the party to make an estimated guess in that same way that's the way if you look at written language, you can roughly ascertain where it's from. Like, Would Chinese... Would languages help? Okay. I don't believe so. Like, not with, like, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. It's all really weird symbols. But you can still roughly guess what one's Japanese and which one's Korean. I mean, yeah. they're, they're different. I... They're, they're different. I was gonna... I was gonna... Is the Chinese and Japanese kanji that are the problem? 
ja ja Japanese is a lot the more liney, Chinese is a lot more boxy, Korean's a lot more circular. Actually, However, technically, no, Jap Korean has a, different, you... has a different mm. written alphabet <clears throat> altogether, Hangul, I think. Yeah, there's a completely different language, and then China and Japan share but, one way to write things, because, yeah. Japan, hey, because of Japan's history, but, but the way... Huh? But you get what I hey, mean, man. right? It's yes, all gone well, well, to me. What I was trying to, like, ask to see if we, uh, this works for me, because I was trying to ask to see if, like, I could either, like, see, like, okay, these symbols are repeated here in this order on this paper as well as this paper, or if just, it looks like the same type of symbol. Like, you, you're able to read it. If it's a cleric spell, you can read it. You just know what it is. You can look at that and go, yeah. yep, that's uh, Revivify, that's Speak with Dead, that's Spiritual Weapon. Uh, I, I would... I was just gonna ask them to bring me to like help me kind of filter out the, the stuff that like isn't relevant at all. If they can bring me can anything, all look at it. yeah, can the part yeah, can, I was... can all look at it and help. I already know how I'm going about this. Don't worry. Okay, and I also want to thank the elves for their kindness. And I assume they don't speak common, so I'm saying this in Elvish. Glad I yeah. took Elvish. <laughs> we have yet huh? to discuss the favor. Yes, I also wanted to ask them the favor. That's the first thing I asked them about before this decision-making thing happened. To the north, there is an old, old, old city. And we believe that it was once a bastion to the god Chermash. Oh, we wish yeah. for its secrets to be plundered. You want us to, to rob a dead city? We want you to rob a dead city and bring back anything that seems to be of our people. Okay. So, we're claiming, we're, we're claiming artifacts. I love this about the group, and I look at... Uh, Exodus and ask, you want to see this or should I? Uh, Sheramash. Who is Sheramash again? I, I just want to make sure that's not the god I follow. I mean, one of the gods <laughs> I am a part of, right? That's. Uh, uh, make a religion check for Argonus, me. Argonus, I think. Make a res check. Make a religion check. Mm. Uh, that's supposed to be with intelligence. Uh, Darius got decent enough intelligence. Go. I mean, that's a flat. A flat is a flat, mate. Intelligence. You just get a living on both. Um, that did the dexterity save on the intelligence check. He still no, has the same st same pluses. <coughs> so, so me, mm. you know, same pluses and a d twenty was rolled. So. Okay. Uh, you know, Charmosh, the bad guy. He's a he's a pretty bad dude. Um, apart from that, to you, fuck knows. Uh, Dara, the name, oh dear God, Jesus Christ, how could Exodus be so fucking stupid? <laughs> Jermosh, Jermosh, the God of, well, essentially our God of Death, whose domain is the Grey. The Hexblade. The pact made with a demon from the Grey. There's no the God of the Exodus, grave. Exodus, the prime example of signing the contract without reading it. <laughs> I don't think we ever... I don't think we talked about the contract. I don't think we talked about the contract. In fact, actually, when I talked to you, when I talked to you about uh, this, you did not say Chermos as my the person I made this deal with. No. You said I Chermos, made this deal with Sarg Sargonus, is what we talked about. Uh, that's the god? You just made it with a demon. Like, you know, a Hexblade Warlock doesn't make a, a pact with Zariel. It makes a pact with a Pit Fiend. You know what I mean? You know, technically speaking, Hexblades, you kind of got to make a deal with something evil. Yeah. It just happens to be to, to, to deal with the, the god of death. But not bad yeah. death. No, bad death's what poor Bernard got. Requiesce that Patrick. Do I know all the information about Sargonus? Uh, oh. 
I was doing Chermoth. Never mind. For, for, yeah, for Chermoth, you know, for Sargonis, uh, his name actually hasn't come up. Like, just straight up, just yeah. never come up. Yeah. But yeah, he's gonna. Looks. This is all we ask, and if you're willing, I mean, you were already up that way anyway. Can you point out the city on a map? The last city. We know it's in city the eastern maze. No, the not that one. We we've we've been told that one, but it's not that one. Mm. You were at Walkreath. This is slightly more north than there. Looking at about mm -hmm. a day's caravan travel. But if you go there and find everything for us, the debt can be considered paid. We're going up that way anyway, so we might as well. Yeah. It, you want any knowledge and artifacts found, correct? Let's do it. Any of our artifacts. You are free to keep anything else that you find. We just want our stuff back. Uh, Please and thank you. Uh, oh, it's linked to the gray, you said. Um, he just wants knowledge of his, of his people and their history. Uh, said, what, what do you know more about this uh, Shamash? And then he went. He, 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 all he knows is that he is linked to the Grey in somehow, so he's sort of like thinking to the voice in his head. Are you related to the. What is this? He is very much my master. Yes. Why? I was just curious, I didn't know I was signing up with a, a god of death. You signed up to the Grey. Everything is death. Devotion. Miserable. Our world is fun. You thought we were fucking cheery? Come on. You've been pretty nice to me. There's color in my world. Exos is just sort of good. talking to himself back and forth. These are speaking the Elven Man's gonna point towards a rather large tent. Everything we found is there and if you have any idea what you're looking for, by all means, take a look. I'ma start pouring over paperwork. So, he said the I have rolled here a shit ton of dice. A fuck ton of dice. Require. Okay. Oh, lay no Shit ton of dice. The maximum DC this could be is a hundred, as far as you are concerned. Mm. I need an investigation check from. Fucking everyone. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. We are looking for the for the scroll. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah, that's right. right. Look, look, look. Search, search, my people. Search. Uh, let me just uh. Let me just search. let me just hold on. Has anybody not rolled yet? I'm gonna <laughs> use. I wait, wait, wait. I was gonna I, use guidance. I'm gonna on use you. magical guidance. I'm just gonna use magic. I can re-roll that one. <laughs> Okay. Can I also give her my guidance? She's already Never gained mind. it herself. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'm guiding myself then. Seven! Yes, I'm guiding. No, no, we rolled that. <laughs> and. What do I do? Investigation? Yeah, that's a plus one. We roll your investigation. 
Yeah, Clifton, re-roll investigation. You can only do one no, reaction, no. one three. reaction per turn. Right. So you, you've, given, right. you've given Mel an older reaction, so let's see. This is where all my numbering now comes in. So I'm going to run, run my magic here. Revel, 20. Darit, 13. Exodus, 14. Okay. Melano. 23. Like 23, yeah. 23. 80. 23. Plus 12 plus 3. 95. You said what, sorry? 95, was that right? Mine was a I, 20. I made, a, I made an absolute idiot move here. I oh, actually yeah, be 12 plus 3, not 1 plus 3, so I'll add 11 onto there. Let's see what happens. I've got 85. 20, 43, 33. Okay, I was off. Yeah, that's, right, that's right. That's cool. What does inspiration do again? Let's you re roll, but it's alright. We've, we've made a call. Because you have, you have to take the new roll, remember? So. So, why are you? Pour over sometime. Uh, spend quite an awful lot of time here pouring over grabbing sheet after sheet comparing looking understanding bringing to dad roll me one d60 d60 i'm essentially doing an hour You pour through and look. You spend a good 47 minutes here. And you do look. After all this time in this tight, hot, cramped, sweaty little tent, it draws a crowd. That's what we like. You soon. Start to break through and over. Everyone, Bart Clifton, can I have a con save, please? Yes, sir. Everyone, but Clifton's the only one that can read it. So whether he gets, whether he busts or not, without him, this doesn't go through. Oh, oh, oh thank God. Wait, am I willing to save? You don't. You're the only one that knows what you're looking for. So, yeah, you're Indiana Jones burning the midnight oil here. Oh God! Everyone. After. Oh, oh God, me. After. I'm gonna. Re and I'm gonna re-roll that. Yeah. Yeah. After <laughs> forty-seven minutes of trying, in this hot afternoon, desert heat, sweat comes over. Darit Bye. is the first one to tap out. As he, he tries. He tries. It's grating and frustrating. He is looking for this paper for his friend. Wants his friend back. It's the only other man, only other person that can teach him the ways of the Salam Knight. I would like to point out, guys, the DC was 13, alright? 13, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they tried. Okay, they, they tried. tried. so hard. <laughs> Here, I got a dead thing. No, I didn't. Zeus. <laughs> Melano. You use what little power you've been given by a god. And you are able to sort out some of these. You look at some of these particular little ones. It's guiding bolt, that's guidance, that's comprehend language, that's aid, that's aid, that's aid. Fuck me, that's a lot of aid. Eventually, even your knowledge runs out. You tap out. Exodus. You really feel like you're here for moral support and keeping tally at this point. Oh, everything that you know, well, it's very useful. Um, it seems to kind of lie in a completely different realm. You can help out all these other ones. So this one here, it's definitely protection, not clerical, no. But in the end, you feel that you've been more of a hindrance than anything, and you. Hands up. 
revel over the astute, however, a learned folk tries her hardest. And the moment she feels she's about to break, second wind comes over. I would require another concept, please. Revel. Me. Just you. <laughs> and can I have another 2d60, please, from someone? I have a, uh, I have my, I have my inspiration. I'm going to use my inspiration to reroll that. For the 49 minutes passes after this show. Before Exodus or Revel taps out DC with 17 this time, friend. And you are... Eventually, however, as the evening starts to set in, Clifton, you find a yes, in a scroll, dusty, old, almost torn apart in certain places. Requires a lick of the thumb and the piper pressed down to make a makeshift glue. There it is. Ray's dead. Fifth level necromancy. Well. I'd like to point out I rolled 5d20 and I got 50 on the button. Hmm. Your DC was group 50. Let me let me just pour over this quote. Like Clifton is like, okay, who found this for me, by the way? You. All you. Oh, okay. Everybody well, I regardless, everybody's getting a kiss on the cheek. Mwah. 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 Thank you so much. I'm going to read this now. And I'm going to intently pour over this scroll while I also read the spell on the fucking, um, on the website. Raise dead. As long as a target has been dead for no longer than 10 days, you can bring them back to life. The spell requires a component of a 700 gold piece diamond minimum. However, spell scrolls require... 700 gold? Spell scrolls require no components. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, this is going to be kick, kick in the teeth. Um, yeah. I'm reading, and I'm like, okay... How many days has it been since we left? I'm asking Scottish God, not just not just the party. You cast it dinner repose, it doesn't matter. Who? Yeah, you you had a nineteen day window, man. I mean yeah. we didn't take like half a month to get here. We're fine. No, no, no. I mean like it says that okay, the spell says it's been dead no longer than ten days. It doesn't say anything about that being extended by anything that preserves the body. Gentle repose extends every spell by its time. Oh, okay. So if yeah, you, yeah. If you gentle yeah, repose yeah, someone, yeah. if you gentle repose someone before you can like, if you have if you have six seconds to revivify someone, but you don't have revivify, you smack a gentle repose, revivify gets extended from one minute to ten days. Um if you gentle repose a body that's been dead within the gentle repose time, to my knowledge that then doubles that time. So if you get them within the 10 days, you get 20 days. There was one day missing from that 10 day time for Renard. You then added 10 days with general repose, taking you to a total of 19 days. Yeah. All right, I gather the party around and say, so we can save Renard. Where's the body? I got him wrapped in his blanket. Two days back. No, we're going to him with. What do you mean two days back? It's, he's with the army. No, he's with Rebel. Rebel wrapped him in a blanket. And I distinctly said you take him to the army and put him in a tent with Rebel. But yeah. Exodus. Because then you called yourself Exodus. What? The army is, however, technically only one day behind. You didn't move okay. your full you didn't move your full time. Um, they move at a normal pace regardless. Um, so yeah, they are essentially, they're on the same hex as you. 
I'm going to explain to the party that I can indeed raise our beloved uh, Renard from the dead. However, I will, it's not guaranteed. I will need to, well, help. Yeah, I, help help would really help me succeed. Um, well, hold on. Let, let me look back up and at at, uh, at our um, at our at our DM Scott, so I can see what I have to So I'm gonna to I'm gonna break it down, exact wording, and you all know how I like my exact wording. The exact wording for using a spell scroll is, if you have the spell on your list, meaning it's something you could already cast if you had spell slots for it you can just cast it as an action if the spell is in your spell list but you do not have it in your spell book then it requires a dc of 10 plus the spell's level now that is then specifically said to be an ability check of 10 plus the spell's level you can look that up on roll twenty. No, like I'm, I'm looking at that right now. What, what I was, what I meant to, huh? You can, because the exact wording is ability check. I will allow everything that can assist with an ability check. That being said, it all cannot come from one person. Yes. What okay. I was trying to what I was trying to figure out in the DMs is what I would be rolling. One D twenty plus your spell casting modifier. I see that here. And your spell uh, well, cast modifier rather, is six. Meaning I, I, you need minimum nine. I wish I was reading this. As you've said everything, I had already read. Okay, so... for everyone else, though, so they know. Okay, so he said he will allow everything that helps with an ability check. Guidance. Guidance, the help action, um, me having re-roll. Help action re-helps with an ability check. However... He said it came out of your mouth. However, this is where I'm going to be Grilled. Oh what god. No, I don't say want you to roll that ability check blind GM. I've given you everything else that has to come with it. So now there has to be some surprise. Of course. That means you can't there's he, no point in doing the re-roll. He no won't point. know. So, yeah, that's, it's, uh... the thing. that's the thing. That's the... I'll describe with excruciating detail. Let, let's look at it this way. John thought there was no way of getting him back because I described it too good. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he turned to dust. Oh, <clears throat> Yeah, kind of sounded that way. I mean, it does. My, I can, I can make them re-roll. It's, it only says I can decide only after this. After you know the outcome. Yeah, after I know the outcome. So you can be like, Renard doesn't raise from the dead, and I'm like, okay, redo that. So, RJ, set it Mm -hmm. to you. Set it to blind GM roll. In the box, you will type the following. All right. Um, If we can, if we can do this after we get a rest, I can have my. Scared the crap out of me for a moment. I thought I just texted something sexually explicit to Scottish on Discord. Joke or not, like that would have been. Yeah, because like I thought Scottish was typing to respond to that. I'm like. I'm gonna piss yeah. I'm actually gonna go ahead really quick though and uh hope for the best as I click a mage. Definitely be a self roll, but here's hoping. Error. Uh okay. Just 
try that. Let's see. Kill. Right. Alright, I'm gonna message you what it is right now that you will be putting to me. I had to make sure the syntax was just right. So, because someone has stated they're helping you, because someone has stated they're guiding you, you are rolling 2d20, keeping the highest one, adding 6, which is your spellcasting modifier, and then in double, bra double square brackets, 1d4, which will roll a d4. We'll make that a nice private GM roll. Are we doing this right now? Yeah. Is it? Okay. We fucked up the whole body with the army. He's only. Yeah, one, he's, o, he's only. He's in the same hex as you, and you haven't used your full normal day's travel, so you can get to the body within today. Oh right, like, but what about I'm the gonna ask you made to the? I was. So, um. Yep. Yeah. Scottish. What up, my boy? The party knows I'm rewinding time, right? Canonically, <laughs> everyone seems, as you do it, everyone seems to feel this odd sort of, you seem one division, right? Yeah, no, I have not. Timey, why, timey, why me? Has anyone here seen one division? Just yes or no? I've seen it. So no. RJ, uh, RJ, you'll get this one for everyone else. Like, you know that part where Wanda and Vision are talking and Vision says something and then the line just cuts and repeats and the vision says something completely different and to the viewer yeah. that's really jarring it's just like a real world real 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 world real time redaction yeah it just did it and you swear something different happened but the, what happens better so you don't question it wait was the vision aware of that at some level near the end or the fake vision yeah. Okay. Um, um, I wanted to so, tell you that we're aware of, like, that was weird. Go ahead. I'm sorry. On our way back to camp, <laughs> Rebel's going to speak up and talk to the party. Just and talk it all out, friend. Don't talk it all out. And he's going to tell them all that he has the ability to rewind time, but he cannot do it today. After arrest, he will be fine to go ahead and do it again. And just in case this does not work, uh, it would be great to have that in our in our corner. Okay. No. Uh, he did not have the intention of telling you guys this ever, especially with the Melano here. But since it's come to this, uh, it's important that his group knows. So you can control time. I can rewind it whenever uh, if I see things that happen in front of me, I can rewind it. Yes, for uh about a few minutes. Yeah, if I decked you in the face. I can make it so that didn't happen if I have rest. That's pretty fucking cool. How'd you get that ability? I, I've studied over my lifetime. Taking my not with a high mages of sorcery because that's not a subject that I teach. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I kind of wish I did that instead of making a deal with a proxy of a god of death. What? Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not about that. Not about that. Strange enough, I just realized like I blinked out the the like the moment he started saying, "But here comes the cat." Rebel just like a what? But um, Rebel Rebel just says that his uh his studies included stuff like. Um, mythology, demonology, uh, chronology, study of time. He mainly focused on the study of time and figure out how to 
to rewind it. Dog. Damn. And we have an automated flopping fish for my cat as a toy is one thing, but I keep accidentally triggering it by kicking my feet back and forth, and it starts moving, and then there's a sound that's vaguely reminiscent of a thrusting dildo, and something slapping against my floor, and I get I, I get confused every time. So so Scottish, um, delicious I, 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 I spaced what? Oh, I just said you can talk it out whilst I go to the toilet and get a drink. And then I can buy oh. banana milk. I was going to say, um, I, I, I kind of spaced out when you started uh, describing what the condition on, upon all these wonderful additives are. So don't worry. I will, really I will aid you in it once more. As you get back to the camp. There's a tension in the air. Shocking revelations. A man, women, person who's just been casually rewinding time, just walking with you. Uh, the ability to save a friend's life. Potentially to hangs in the midst. You see the tent. The bodies lay. You see the group of soldiers who guard it. The sun has gotten real low, big guy. It is very much encroaching upon the night time as you make second camp with the army. This time overlooked by the Sylvanesti army. What is your What is your plan for the night? Going to rest. I would like to um hold on, hold on. Let me read the spell. Just, yeah. Oh yeah. Most recently, we got into manipulating Bavin. Yeah, th this does still have the same thing that Revivify does. So yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to do this before I go to bed, so he can. If I succeed, he can take a long rest and hopefully have less of a penalty the next day. The um. Penalty? What, what you got a penalty for? Rebel. Look at the, the bottom of raised. Okay, so whenever you like with revivify and uh, well, excuse me, resurrection. You never revivify. Great resurrection and raised dead. Mm -hmm. Um, the target mm -hmm. takes a minus four penalty to all attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. Every time the target finishes the long rest, the penalty is reduced by one until it disappears. Mm -hmm. That's that's for the target. That's not for you. Yeah, that that that's for the. No, I know. To life. If he, I bring him back to life. We all go to sleep. That's a long rest for him. But Rebel nope. was saying he can rewind time if we all take a long rest before you do this. So, what does that, what yeah. that do again? What does rewinding time do? No, I mean, like you said, we, we, oh, so, so rewinding, so we're taking a long rest is so Rebel can rewind time. Yeah, Rebel just told you all that he can rewind time. I remember that. Do you? <laughs> That's cruel. I mean, look, I needed Sorry. I needed one little piece to make the to make the connection, and that's it. I didn't need any more of that. Here's Every the uh, question: Do we even? Is it even a? Can you even rewind time, given that it's a private rule, and you won't know if it fails or succeeds until after? Oh no! If it fails, if Renard doesn't get up, it it also states that he can make it after knowing the result. Yeah. Oh, sweet. I can yeah, rewind time. <laughs> I don't... Sleepy, sleepy time. All right. So, well, let's let's go to bed then. I'm sorry about that, Renard. You're going to wake that... up um wake up tired. <laughs> I was never going to tell you all this. That... Every slip of time we all had. 
Then as we Is that you say you're Scottish? We're, guys, we're nearly four and a half fucking hours here, man. <laughs> as you all rest up for the night. Take a long rest if required. Get all those pluses and additions in there as the army and Sylvan Este watch over this. You have essentially a large encampment right here by the shore. This is almost like an invading force. The sun goes down, the stars come up. The moon goes down, the sun comes up. You thought I was going to say one direction. You're wrong. <laughs> the next day, sun goes down. one by one, you all gather at the tent. A dead body in front. Renard, withering. A dead body to the side. Fain, rotting. Spell scroll in hand. So you unfurl the scroll. No. Place it on the body right. of Renard. On his chest. And rub your hands together. You take it in. A deep, deep breath. As you do, place your hands on the sheet. Everybody around has seen magic this before, but numerous, numerous, numerous people here in the camp have not. The magic of a paladin was one thing. The magic of a cleric gone for 351 years. That's something else. RJ, set it to private GM roll. Paste the formula. Hit yes. enter. So, as you rub your hands together and push and push, the room brightens, lightens as it does power this whole scroll starts to burst forth. The tent starts to rupture and reeve. It's in blows with the power. Gone! As you stand there, light, blowing power, rushing through. You've not felt this before. This is fifth level magic. This is beyond your scope. This is beyond the scope of your wizards. As it does. I feel you all should have seen this coming. This is where we're going to end it. <laughs> Emmett. You fucker! Can I roll the spell for pain too? You fucker! You fucker! <laughs> And I roll for fame as well. That uh, separate spell. You just like having to do the cliff roller. <laughs> separate spell. We'll find out next week. Oh, I'm not here next week. You're not here next week, John. Oh, I'm not here next week either. John, you, tell and me, me in you and me are gonna have some fucking fun at some point this week. I'll tell you that much. We'll certainly everybody else. 